Man, you do so many cool things. Like, I'm obsessed with the trajectory of your life and career, but obviously wrestling is such a big part of your life. Did you wrestle from a really young age? Have you been doing this your whole life? I come from a family of, I have four brothers, and, and uh, it's five boys, and yes. Sounds like fun. <laughs> yes, I have been fighting my entire life. We formed a, a wrestling league in my basement at age five, mm -hmm. uh, to which I was multi-time champion. And lo and, <laughs> lo and behold, I kind of parlayed that into a career in the WWE, which I became a multi-time champion. Oh, well, well, no big deal. How about that? No big deal. See, when I, because obviously a huge fan, when I used to watch um, WWE, you had a very signature look. It's very different from how you look right now. And I think, I mean, a little bit different. A little bit. A little bit. But you used to have a... There were jorts involved. Jorts. <laughs> there were, th thank you very much for laughing at my fashion sense. I appreciate it. <laughs> Fair. But you Fair. had... There were jorts. A signature buzz cut, too. Yeah, yeah. And you kind of evolved from that. But I got to ask, like, are your friends, your wrestling fans that are so used to this one particular image of John Cena, do they ever get upset that you are now this buttoned-up, no, long-haired person? They don't ever get upset. They always get upset. Okay. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I, so in trying to become a, a storyteller on film, the more versatile you can look, the more jobs you can get. Yeah. There aren't, there's only so many places a six foot, 250 pound dude with a crew cut can be placed. Mm -hmm. So people are like, maybe if you grew your hair out, we could style it a certain way and right. make you look more threatening or less threatening or whatever. It's like, all I gotta do is grow my hair out? I'm like, well, even if it doesn't really grow on the top of my head, they're like, yeah, don't worry about it. We can fake it. Don't worry about it. Uh, so I did, and everybody's like, no! <laughs> You've changed! Really? No. So, like, I got massive amounts of hate. I mean, like, really? online is a pretty, it's a pretty dodgy place anyway, but I mean, it came in. I'd ruin people's childhood. They'd never think the same. Like, I, seriously, you would, you would think I went and gone and done something really foolish when I just really kind of went and gone and done something really foolish. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I, I grew my hair out, and I, I just caught a lot of flack for it. Well, I think you look great. No, it I... was cool, because I just was like, you know what? I'm just going to stand up to this. I'm just keeping it like this. Oh, wow. Dang, that's right. John Cena Whatever. in your face. Whatever. Uh, speaking of online, one of the things I absolutely love of you, one of many, is your Instagram game. I've been following you for a really long time, and if you follow John, you know this as well. You never, ever post captions with your pictures Yet your pictures are so random and confusing. I also, I've also never posted a picture of my face. You've never posted a picture of your face? No. OK, I want to take a look at some of your posts. We have some of them right here. So this is something you posted. This is the whole post. Yeah. And there's no <laughs> caption. Yeah. What was going through your mind when you did this? Oh, this one's simple. The day before Instagram went down. <laughs> what? You did this the day before Instagram went down? No, no, no. The day before. Instagram went down. So this is an image that everybody got to see the day before. And I was like, yo, I'm going to blast out that Instagram went down on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> that's deep. That's deep. Let's take a look at another one. Explain this, and then I'm going to give you my two cents on this image. I want your two cents first. OK, my two cents is this. My favorite chocolate ever is Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Reese's. It's not Reese's. If you say Reese's, we're not friends. It's simple as that, OK? <laughs> it's Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. But here's my beef is that there's so many variations of this chocolate that annoy me, because this is the perfect ratio of peanut butter and chocolate, OK? This original one. Then you got the king size, you got the sticks, you got the eggs, you got the... And all of those annoy the crap out of me, because it throws the ratio off. You know what I'm talking about. It's either too much chocolate or too much peanut butter. I have strong feelings about this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of embrace those strong feelings okay. <laughs> and say that there was a time in my life where I ate a, a lot of Reese's. <laughs> That's all we got with Justin. <laughs> so I used to eat, uh, my, my go-to uh, meal of enjoyment was uh, Reese's King Size Cups. So, but I know, I know what you're going to say. Let, just do me a favor. Okay. Put your hand up. Okay. Exhibit A. <laughs> so to me, fair. King Very Size fair. is like a normal cup. That's, I love that. That's what Instagram is all about, expressive. <laughs>